Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, what a night of fights last night was. Of course, obviously, my pick for fight of the night was the championship fight. Max Holloway versus Brian Ortega. And Max Holloway just proved once again how good he really is, man. Like, the story of that fight was just Max Holloway's pressure, his combos, his takedown defense, and that right hand, man. That right hand was landing all night for him. And he was just being Brian Ortega up, man. Moving out of the way. So that's why I'm using him today. So let's get to this fight. We'll talk more about that fight. So this corner is coming out pretty aggressive. Wow, this dude's dipping all his stamina, man. Oh, he's rocked already. As you see, I'm trying to go to the body. Max Holloway has that body snatcher perk, which is one of the perks I love, man. It takes away the body health every time you land a hook to the body. I think he has level three. Oh, that's it. That was quick. And if you guys saw one of my favorite combos that I've been throwing lately with Max Holloway and other fighters that have good boxing it's the uh, lead hooks to the body followed by the right uppercut followed by the right hook I mean the left hook but yeah back to the fight last night Max Holloway was just on man Byron Ortega had his moments in the third round but for the most part man it was all Max Holloway you know, Max Holloway just beat him up, put the pressure on him in the fourth round, and, you know, got the stoppage. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get one or two more fights, and I'll be right back with you. So, all right. In this matchup, we're fighting as a beat. Let's see what kind of player... Uh, this guy wants to play as sometimes the uh, Zabit beat guys are pretty aggressive sometimes they can be passive it all depends I guess man but as you guys see it's a new season so I'm not in division 5 anymore oh you already taking me down but I'm in division 4 Gonna work my way back up to Division 5. Ooh, I got the reversal. Stay on top for a little bit. But yeah, Max Holloway showed some great uh, takedown defense last night, especially against Brian Ortega. I felt like Brian Ortega didn't go in there looking for the takedown like I thought he would or or at least look to grapple I don't know if he was trying to prove something oh alright this guy's gonna be throwing all kinds of stuff so I just gotta be careful like if this guy whips a head kick I got I gotta be careful yep I knew that was gonna come Yep. But this guy has to be careful, man, throwing all this stuff. I see it coming. It's good to throw that stuff, but you got to try to disguise it a little bit. Oh, dropped. But yeah, that right hand for Max last night was just landing. And it landed clean. Like a bunch of times. And Max Holloway's movement too, man, helped him out in that fight. 
back here, though. He doesn't get trapped into a triangle. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting... What do you guys think of that fight? I know you guys watched it. Let me know what you guys think. I think it was one of Max Holloway's best uh, performances. He beat a prime Brian Ortega. You know, it was his first, I don't want to say real title defense, but, you know, he beat Aldo for the title. And then he beat Ho uh, Jose Aldo in the rematch. But this was like his real test, I believe. Like his first real title defense test. And he passed, man. He passed with flying colors. Oh, this fight's done. If you guys notice right there, I kept trying to go to the body with the body kick. And I noticed he was blocking his body every time he would miss on a big strike. So I decided to go with the head kick and I got the rock and then you know he tried to get me with that flying knee that a lot of people try to do when they're rocked and it just didn't work for him man these fights are ending quickly these fights are ending quickly but yeah guys let's go get one more since these fights are kinda ending you know quick Let's go get one more, and I'll be right back. Alright, this is kind of the matchup I was hoping to get. Before the fight card, I was seeing a lot of Brian Ortega players, but today I have not. This is probably the first one I've seen. I mean, I take nothing away from Brian Ortega, but last night was just Max Holloway's night. I think Brian Ortega had Max Holloway hurt maybe like once, but it wasn't anything significant. Oh, dropped already. See that? That combination? Hook to the body, uppercut to the head, then lead hook to the head. I like to work the body when I'm using Max Holloway. He has good boxing. You gotta be careful though. That's another thing Max was doing good, man. He was throwing like straight to the body, just sneaking him in there. Last night. And just his combos, man. He was throwing like six punch combos. Just, you know. His cardio is off the hook, man. Alright, this guy's slowing down now. Oh. Oh. That right hand. Oh, nice, nice. He got that. Full guard now. Block that one. Let's get right up. Switching stances here. And he lands the hook. Hook to the body. Oh. That's another combo I love. Hook. Lead hook to the body, lead hook to the head, followed by a straight or an uppercut. Boom! He's done. He's done. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still getting over my cold. But yeah, man, wow, these fights ended quicker than I thought they would. Max Holloway is a beast, man. I'm just wondering what's next for him. They pretty much cleaned out the, you know, 
both Brian Ortega and Max Holloway pretty much cleaned out the division. I mean, Max Holloway could possibly fight Frankie Edgar next, you know, but I feel like Frankie Edgar has to earn his opportunity again since he lost to Brian Ortega. What I would like to see Max Holloway do is maybe a rematch with Conor McGregor. That's his last loss in the UFC. I mean, if Conor wants to come back, I feel like they should do the fight at 145. And I feel like, you know, Conor McGregor maybe, you know, maybe that's a fight that he wants too. You know, I'm sure it's a fight that Max Holloway would want. Like I said, it's his last loss. Ever since that loss, he went on a, I think, his win streak's at like 13 now. So, I, I feel like that would be a good fight. You know, Max Holloway's come a long way since that fight. Conor McGregor, you know, he's just Conor McGregor. So, I just feel like it would be a good fight for the both of them. Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. But as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.